So we got to have our travel music, you know. You usually listen to gospel music, but I've been driving a lot through Florida lately. First time with you. First time with her. So I think this is the appropriate song. Willie Nelson, gotta love it. <laughs> oh my lord. Being uncooperative. I can't wait to get on the road again. So we had to make an emergency stop. We've only been on the road for 15 minutes. The Prophet Vanessa. We've been on the road since 1.35. What's that? 40 ish An hour. We've been on the road for an hour. An hour. You were too lightweight to wait till we got to Port St. Lucie. I need my coffee. I need my coffee. Look how short she is. I'm not short. You're just holding it so that it looks like I'm short. Look how short she no, is. I'm not short. Look. Oh, Paquito. Paquita. 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 <laughs> What's the matter? Hot. You know, the only thing worse than the complaining prophet is the devil. Oh. Stash of napkins here. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case, because I know what happens with you and your coffee mishaps. <sighs> the dangers of going off road to get Starbucks. We almost got head on collision parking lot. Oh, that was my water. That was my... Okay. I told you it was my water. So you don't care. I my thermos. Getting back on the road now. Yeah, I'm only a few minutes away and you had to take me all the way down to Timbuktu and then round about make a right when it was right here. The only thing worse than, a, <laughs> than, a, than the devil is a complaining prophet. Ow! That profit. That is nasty. What is it? Uh, some kind of. Oh, I can't eat that. You hungry? I'm not that hungry. You're not that hungry? What is it? Your bars. These are scrumptious. This got slobber on it though. What did you do to this thing? Prophet Vanessa spilled coffee on no, me. No, 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 I have not. You spilled that yourself, which is the norm for you. That's why I make sure to bring plenty of napkins. Stash of napkins here. <laughs> Just in case, because I know what happens with you and your coffee mishaps you. That's why I make sure to bring plenty of napkins. This is stop two because Prophet Vanessa did not have the wherewithal to stop and get gas while we were already Oh, no, 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 no. So it's time to eat the pre-service meal. Don't always eat before service, but usually do. We found an organic restaurant here in the middle of nowhere. Prophet Vanessa could not be happier. Told them you are happy. Oh, yes, I am happy. I'm happy to be here. Can we go inside the shop? No bueno. <laughs> Highly disappointing. It's like eating a bucket of salt. Why are you still eating them? Because I'm starving. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I'm day two in Satellite Beach with Apostle Kim alone. 
This man of God just revolutionized my life. Love him so much. Honored to be preaching at his church today in Salad Beach. Listen, 1 Timothy 1 and 18 is the scripture I'm going to be ministering on. Wage war. Paul told his spiritual son Timothy to wage war with the prophetic words that have been spoken over his life. To make a good warfare. The message translation says, after all, this is a good fight that we're in. And so we have to understand and know that we can wage war. We can use prophetic words that are judged as true as a sword of the Spirit. So the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God, but it's not just the written Word of God, it's the Rhema Word of God. So today I'm gonna to be teaching about that, press into that reality. If you've had prophetic words spoken over your life, I wanna encourage you to begin to decree them, to begin to declare them, to begin to confess them, meditate upon them. And when the enemy comes to try to rob you of God's promise prophetically, you need to tell him, the Lord said to me, I am, and go forth and begin to war with that word. Bless you, we'll go back into service here and just tear it up for Jesus, amen.